Steve's uploaded his revised resume and I've gone and pulled it up here. Right away, you should be able to see that this resume is much improved. The name actually stands out, pops off the page. Section headers and experiences are formatted more consistently and now we've got months written out in full. That said, there are still a lot of formatting issues that need to be addressed. While the dates and locations are closer to the right margin and closer to being aligned correctly, there are inconsistencies where they're not quite lined up correctly. I'm guessing this student just used spaces to move everything over. They forced the alignment, when really, tab steps should have been used. The CMC has an instructional video showing how to do this, and I'll include a link below to that as well. The dashes and dates look better, but the spacing still isn't quite balanced or consistent. Also, the dash in the parenthetical here needs to match the others in the resume, and that does include the spacing as well. We also have one instance where the state was spelled while in the rest of the resume, the state is abbreviated. We need these to be consistent, and that includes in the contact info. Whether you want to abbreviate the state or spell it out, that's fine. Either way is great. Just make sure you're consistent in the entire document. While the experiences are more consistent in formatting, we do have a slight error with the first position title. That needs to be italicized. The line spacing of the resume is much more consistent. However, I'm still noticing a few issues. The first is the blank line of space between the last two sections. Note how that doesn't appear anywhere else in the resume. In fact, there are no lines of space between any parts of the resume now. It's a bit too tight, it's a bit too crowded. We also have all this extra white space below that we can make better use of. So the line spacing is consistent, but Steve needs to include a single blank line of space between sections and experiences to help prevent the resume from feeling too crowded and to make better use of that white space below. I think I'll stop with the feedback here. I want Steve to focus on fixing up the formatting before we address the content, especially because the formatting is so close to being completed. So once again, I send Steve his feedback, he revises the resume, and resubmits his resume for a third time. And you can see how well Steve improved his resume in the third video in this series.